it's nice seeing the contrast of today and last night compared to like my first night here where I didn't feel like I didn't sleep super well. Um, stressing a little bit because I still have to put together a music list for tonight. I just want to make sure the music is like uh, suitable. It's pretty much my agenda for today is showering and then um, getting the music ready for tonight and then actually doing the dance tonight. The momentum, momentum going, going the, flow, yeah. the flow going. For whatever reason, going to a park is still jumping out at me. So maybe that's just one of those things yeah. where you're like soul is calling. Yeah. It's like you just, um, forgot where I that is. You never know. Sunday and Monday would probably be my like two good days. Yeah. Um, so I don't forget. I love it. And then um, I'm just finished packing. I'm gonna head to the dance studio. Um, Stephanie's teaching tonight, and I'm going to finish the music. But I want to make sure that I get to the studio first. That way I can um, not feel like I have to rush last minute here. Tonight, after the dance, I realized I actually had a little bit of sadness when people started leaving, knowing that I was coming back to the house and if Stephanie wasn't going to be here, which, I mean, that's going to be definitely part of this experience, is a lot of alone time. So I'm not bothered by that, but still definitely there's that, like, longing for connection. And wild dance was fun, wild dance was connecting in, a, like, a physical sense and, like, musical sense, soulful sense. There definitely was the missing component of having, like, deep connection with people, which I don't feel like I can really get very easily at dance events, even though it seems like other people can socialize quite easily. So that could be an area for me to grow in and also just honoring at the same time my own just kind of tendencies and just what feels natural or comfortable for me. Tomorrow will be my first like full day without any sort of commitments or obligations. So that's going to be an opportunity for me to get outside and just go to a park, walk around, but with the intention to kind of like follow soul and follow the heart. So that is the plan tomorrow. past few days have been a little bit kind of intense to my nervous system and I want today to be kind of a catch-up day just low expectations low agenda I want to like kind of reset my environment that seems to be something that's really helpful for me is to like actually put things back in the uh, bags so that way I kind of know where everything's at periodic periodically resetting back to a packed state today I would like to go out to a park but first I'm going to kind of clean up and uh, tidy up Now that I'm like clearing up my space, it's like reminding myself what my intentions are and actually stepping aside, putting everything, all the distractions away to then now prioritize these different things that I want to do. And I want to make sure I catch up on the one line a day thing that I have been doing fairly consistently this entire year, um, but did not do last night. So I want to do that before I forget. I want to do a little bit of documentation in Notion. So now I am actually going to uh, see if I can go find a park. I know there's quite a few around Goshen, so I just got to feel into whichever one is most compelling at the moment. listening to my intuition and uh, not ignoring it then making sure that I actually like follow that this was the main path that I was walking on and I just saw this and I kept walking and then I did like a double take like part of me was really interested in that so now I'm just kind of following this path there's a couple different directions I can go and so just like this is I think one of the soulful kind of invitations that I was feeling by going to a park is just getting out of my element and learning to listen more to my intuition and to my like soul's guidance 
and just kind of figure out, okay, which path do I want to take? And allowing myself to make changes and make new discoveries in each moment, rather than feeling like I have to go a specific arc before I've even taken the first step, because I have no idea like what other paths are going to show up just as a result of taking the first step. Like this is really intriguing to me. It's, it seems really cool. I have like started a list of things I know I need to buy. Like I need to get a hat for the sun, um, and just walking through that for like the 30 seconds I was in there, I was like, I'm already done with that space because I've gotten bit like seven times just in that little walk. So bug spray, that's going on the list. This is definitely enough of an experience already to realize that um, I'm ready to be done here. I don't like the bugs. Um, and uh, it's good information for me to discover before my soul quest that I need to bring, bring bug spray and just other things to start thinking about. Things that I probably would not have even thought about had I not done something like this, like just gone out and explored a little bit. Ever since getting my glasses, I definitely have a much stronger appreciation for things like trees and clouds. There's a crispness that I now experience with just seeing, and that is something I don't really want to take for granted as much especially as I face other sorts of things I don't have the answers to. I'm trying to appreciate little things like the crispness of the leaves at a distance. A bike would be really fun for these kinds of trails. It's just like straight open runway. There is a bike group coming this way, and there's a little spot somewhere over here that I want to catch their reflection in. Things like this that I would not have been able to plan had I tried to plan before I left. Um, I should probably hurry. very much a surreal experience so far. Like I broke off of the original path that I was going on and like discovered this entire like farm and field. Like there's a bunch of horses and someone doing like horseback riding. Um, yeah, like very beautiful place that I would not have like come across had I not like allowed myself to step off the path. It's also a good reminder that things like this exist in lots of places but they're often shrouded by things like tree lines and things like that, uh, which is something that I find that I quite like. I like these little hidden kind of groves, hidden areas. Just a very different experience for Austin. Not, uh, he's not used to doing these things, let alone doing these things alone. But like, I have no idea where I am right now. I know I can retrace my steps back to the vehicle. I mean, I kind of know just um, navigationally, cardinally, and I know I'm like headed in the direction of my car, but who knows if this is going to set me like further back than I realize like maybe I can't cross the river as easily or something. I don't know. And this experience is also showing me or allowing me to like experience different things and realize, oh, I like this. I like how, I like how this feels. I like how pretty this is. I like how secluded this is versus some areas that I'm like, ooh, I don't like the vibe here. I'm ready to be done here. I don't like the bugs. Very overgrown sort of forest kind of atmosphere. This is the kind of thing that I feel like I am benefiting from a lot already. Just like increased exposure to experiences so that I can like let my nervous system and my soulful experience like be tested against these environments, these circumstances. Um, and then also just like literally getting to be more present in these like beautiful environments that like are again all around us but they're not necessarily the most well broadcasted. The little random excursions and allowing yourself to go off the path 
how many more experiences could I have like this? And I knew I was going in the right direction, but I didn't realize I was literally on the path that I just branched off of. Go find that horse ranch back there. I have no idea how late it is or how much time I spent out here. It was well spent for sure. I'm really grateful I came out. All right, so I just got back, uh, gonna eat. But that felt like a really fun time. Just getting out of the house and kind of doing my own thing for a bit. One of the things that I realized is that the day felt like it was going a lot slower and I wasn't doing quite as much. That doesn't feel like a bad thing at the moment. Like, one, getting to a calmer state is very good for me right now, um, where I don't feel as rushed, I don't feel as anxious, that's a good thing. And then two, what is the alternative? Instead of like checking my phone for Facebook notifications or YouTube videos or podcasts or whatever, it's like I'm just removing that and now I just have a lot more space. The alternative uh, to having a slower, less productive day is just a busier mind and not really accomplishing any more than I was accomplishing today. So, snack time, food time, lunch, dinner time. I'm just kind of handling projects that fall in my lap more than anything else.